What about sunrise? What about rain? What about all the things that you said we were to gain? All right, I'm, I'm no Michael Jackson, but uh, <laughs> how you doing, everyone? Welcome back to Hobbit Homes and Gardens. I am Ari, as always. I have done some pretty significant clear cutting of the uh, of the trees around this area. I have exposed all four of the hair traps. One of them I filled in entirely, the one down there, because it was serving no purpose, and uh, there, was, there was nothing good in there. I will get rid of the other ones soon as well, because honestly, I don't need them anymore. If we want hairs, there's tons of hairs over here trying to get into these fields. As you can see, I've created a third field, uh, moved the flax along, I harvested that flax, moved the flax along, and that's almost, al almost ready to harvest already. There we go, I got all those words in there. Um, down here, this is such a great view from up here now. I need to I need to fix up this area. I've still got my, my chests full of astroturf um, and all of this nonsense up here. I, I did clean up the little structure I had that's no longer needed. But yeah, there's some cleanup need, needs to be done up here and eventually I'll put something nice up here. At least maybe like a little flower garden or something like that. Um, but our, our you is still pregnant. It has been a while, friends. Uh, I, I, I swear, I think the developers of this game have a philosophy of when you put something cool in the game, like cheese making, for example, that people have been asking for for a long time, uh, the players can have it, but they have to suffer for it. <laughs> so uh, they made the gestation period for sheep a lot longer, I believe, than it used to be, and they uh, changed the ratio of birth so that you have a 50-50 chance of getting a male or female sheep, whereas before it was, I think, three to one overwhelmingly female. And it still is for the, the pigs. The pigs, which are still down in the troughs down there, if they have babies, uh, they have a lot of babies, and most of them are female, uh, but they have changed the ratio for the sheep because you have to get generation, I believe generation two sheep before you can reliably milk them. So that just makes it all the grindier and all the harder and all the more frustrating. <laughs> I could go into the files and tweak that a little bit, but I, uh, eh, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that for now. I, I, I may later. We'll see, we'll see how frustrating it gets. Um, here, this right here is a charcoal pit. Ugh, lots of charcoal in here. Uh, all those trees that I cut down, I, I'm running out of space to store the wood. <laughs> so I've also got a huge pile of firewood here to use with this, this oven. And, uh, oh, look at this. By the way, I'm so sorry. I don't know how many of you noticed. I, I had not finished this window at the end of the previous video. I noticed it uh, after I uploaded the video. It's too late to fix it then, but I did fix it immediately. It is now symmetrical. Uh, and we come in here, and look at this. I fixed it up. I fixed it up. Uh, we got a lot less light in here for the windows because they're so tiny and kind of off to the side. But this isn't meant to be a living space in the long run, right? This is meant to be a uh, just an entryway. We need, we need to do some digging. The, uh, the basement's still the same. I moved the corn in here, and I've got this wall of chests, and they are, they are all just full of stuff. Uh, we need to set up some some more specialized storage, I think. Just This is just bananas, what I've got in here. Uh, lots of it is wood, as you'll notice. I did cut down a lot of trees, and check this out, Astro Dirt. So this is the... Uh, the soil-only equivalent of the AstroTurf. I had to, sp uh, to spawn it in in creative mode, uh, but it's just a decorative block which I can use to chisel since you can't chisel soil right now. So, uh, what else have I done? What else have I done? Um, I the, the response to the last video in terms of the wolves, people didn't seem too bothered if I decided to just uh, disable them. Uh, what I wound up doing is I tweaked the spawn rules for wolves. Oh, by the way, by the way, before I forget, Came over here to show you this, forgot instantly. This is how much charcoal we already have. And then we've got probably a couple more stacks in here. And then there's several chests full of logs, so no shortage of wood whatsoever. Um, but I, I tweaked the spawn rules for the wolves so that they will now, by default, the, the vanilla rule is that wolves need to spawn on a block between negative 15 and positive 15 degrees. Let's go back up to the view up here. Let me just take a look around while I explain. Uh, and that's not, if we look in here, uh, the current temperature outside is 22 degrees. This is a warm area, it's very hot in the summer, and it's August. So uh, that's the current temperature, but I believe the, uh, the spawn rules are not based on the current temperature, but on the base block temperature. So if I type wgen space pos space climate, this gives me some of the, whoops, some of the, uh, I'm trying to get my cursor, uh, 
information about this particular block that I'm standing on. So the the base temperature of this block is 13.2 degrees, right? Right now, the temperature is 22.8 because it's summer, but uh, the base temperature is 13. So I think that is within the range of wolf spawns between minus 15 and positive 15 degrees. Uh, wolves also require, I believe, 15% rainfall and 50% forest. So we are well within all of the spawn parameters. Now I couldn't find any way to adjust the spawn rate, but what I did is I tweaked the temperature. So from now on, wolves will only spawn up to 12 degrees instead of 15, and I think that should make it so that wolves don't spawn too close to me anymore. Um, it's gonna, you're gonna need to go north, probably a couple hundred blocks, I would say, before you start to hit 12 degree base temperature. So that should mean we don't get, to, we don't have to deal with the howling anymore. I haven't disabled wolves entirely; they're still in the game. I could still go hunt them if I wanted to, but they're not gonna bother me here, um, which is, which is the idea. That's that's what I was going for. So today, what is the plan? I've cleared away all this area. I'm going to clear back even more, but that's pretty tedious. I'll keep doing that between episodes. Uh, I haven't removed any of the mushrooms. I want to try to incorporate the mushrooms whenever I can and try to make this area look as natural as possible. So, cuz once you once you uh, destroy a mushroom, you can't you can't move it and you can't plant it anywhere else. So, I don't want to destroy them if I don't have to. I don't need them as a food source anymore, but I just think they're cool. However, I wanted to show you one of the things. I don't know if any of you caught it. Hold on, I'm hungry. It's a little peckish. There we go. Um, this is like the 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 blandest, most most unpleasant <laughs> basic food. Turn it with soybeans. Um, anyway, here we go. Look at this. I harvested all of the flax in that other field, and that gave us four linen. And that is important because with four linen, we can make sails. And this doesn't say so, but it gives you four sails, which is how many you need to make your very first that, to make your very first windmill. So we're gonna make a windmill today. At the very least, there we go, four sails. At the very least, we're gonna get it set up and set up and uh, connected to the quern so that it can start grinding out the the chalk for me. Because right now, it's I can't my wrist can't do it no more. It's just too much. I can't handle it. So I think I'm gonna put the windmill, I like the idea, aesthetically, of having the windmill here and uh, having this little hill be the mill. The mill hill, if you will. I'm not sorry for that. <laughs> the mill hill right here, we're standing on the mill hill. Um, so the first thing I need to do is make the rest of the parts for the windmill. The, the guidebook is actually pretty good. I think if we look in here, it will mechanical power for mechanized milling. It's got everything you need in this book. You press the H key. If you don't know, if you're new to this game, press the H key, opens the handbook, go into the guides, and you can get an explanation of how this works and what you need. So, Craft a Quern did that. Axles and gears to connect the rotor to either the top or bottom of the quern to be automated. The quern's output slot is full or occupied. Quern will begin blah, 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 blah. Okay, but we need uh, the windmill. Mechanical power. Okay, four sails, one windmill rotor, four sails, axles, and gears, okay? I think we only actually need one gear and a, a handful of axles. The windmill rotor is another thing we need. So the recipe has been changed since the last time I made one of these. We actually need resin now, but good news, I just deforested an entire area, which is full of pine trees, so I've got plenty of resin. Let's go get the resin. We need some logs. I think I actually put, oh God, where did I put, where did I put the resin? I need, I need to sort out my storage. Okay, there's the resin. We'll take some random logs. Here we go. We need, um, I don't need this right now. Let's hang this up. I still have all my tools out here. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I need the chisel and the hammer. There we go. So, let's see. Can I remember what it was? Oh, I need, I need fat as well. I need animal fat, which I should have some somewhere in this mess. I need to at least make signs, I think, for these these chests. There we go. Plenty of animal fat from all of those wolves that I had to kill. So I believe the windmill rotor is like this. Oh, look at that. We only need one of those. One per windmill. Then we need, uh, what's over here? We need axles. Well, actually, we, need, we only need one gear. Everything. Gear, angled gears. That's it. So this is, we need the saw as well. Two sticks on the sides, okay. I got I got a saw, that's not a problem. I got a saw, let's hang this up for a moment, take the saw. Let's see if I can remember 
all of that. Like this. Like this. Like this. I think it was like that. This. And then a couple of these. Oh, I did it. Okay, only one angled gears. And then we need a whole bunch of axles. These are relatively simple. They just need the fat. Okay. We're gonna need a bunch of these. So here we go. I'm just gonna get 16 axles. I think that'll be enough. All right. Hang up my tools. Hang up my stuff. Uh, put away my resin and all that. All that fun inventory management. It was there. That's where I had the resin with the plants. Look how many saplings I got, folks. I don't even know what to do with these. I don't think you can trade them with any of the traders. And I certainly don't need this many. I think I may have to just throw them away. If anyone could think of... Oh, you can burn it. Hmm. I guess I can use them as fuel. Not that I have any shortage of fuel, but that's neither here nor there. So we need to make a tower for the windmill, and the higher up you put it, the easier... I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so ashamed of myself for not having this sorted out by now. Uh, the, the higher up you put it, the more wind there tends to be, so the windmill tends to work faster. So build a nice little tower. Um, you gotta choose a wood to make it out of. We have our selection of woods. I also have, I cut down that kapok tree last time, and a little bit of acacia. I have replanted some saplings, they have not regrown yet, it hasn't been that long. Jog over here. The, uh, the acacia is the main thing that I want. Two more days for that one, and two, probably two more days for all of them. Yeah. And then we'll get some more acacia wood, which I would like to use very much. Uh, but for the windmill itself, we'll use, oh my goodness, it's chaos in here, there's too many chests. Last time we had too many wolves, this time we have too many chests. So I think, I like the idea of using the pine logs, because we're used to seeing the pine trees be sort of tall and thin. So we use the pine logs, um, and I'm gonna want some ladders. I'm gonna need a lot more ladders than that. Fortunately, I have infinity sticks. Did I just hear a wolf? There might be one or two wolves still left here. That I have not killed yet, but once they take care of them, that should be the end of it. I'll go on a wolf hunt later. I'm, I'm not going to spend more on-camera time hunting wolves. All right, so for the absolute basics, right? We'll get it, we'll get everything looking all pretty later. But for the absolute basics, he's going to come up here. We're going to make a big old tower. And that might be high enough. Look, you can see the foxes sleeping in their little foxhole. Look at the view we have from up here. I think there's a, a sleeping pig over there. I really have spent a lot of time clearing out all this area, folks. I hope you appreciate just how much time it takes to cut down this many trees and how much wood you get from them. I am, I am going to keep going uh, for a bit and cut down quite a lot more. But, um, and we need just a temporary, temporary pine log here. And let me see if I can remember. I think I face this way for the windmill rotor. And then... Break that, and then we just, there we go, and it's going, it's running, we have the windmill, the windmill is set, uh, okay, I didn't think this through very, very well, <laughs> probably gonna need to, oh my goodness, let's just set the, uh, the way up and down here <laughs> for now, um, and then we gotta, we gotta get it, mechanically working, right? So we need our angled gears and we need our wooden axles. So I need an axle here. Send it out this way. Then this is gonna this is gonna be tricky. Can I do it from here? Can I get this? Oh look at that. Okay. So it looks like uh you've only got one gear here, but this actually takes up the whole square and it will add gears. It's basically a gear box, even though it doesn't look like one. So it will add gears, you see, as you go. Take this down. Now this is just our preliminary setup just to get this working. Okay, let's go grab the corn. Gonna need the corn. Come here. Take that out of the corner here. You look nice in here for a little while there, friend, but now you need to go out and you need to work. You need to do your job. Now again, right now I'm setting this up just so that I can start getting the materials that I want, which is to say, the, boop, there we go, look at that! It's grinding up all by itself. Uh, I'm gonna grind up the chalk into the lime, 
That is the first thing I need, because I do want to use plaster in the construction of the windmill itself. So, chalk, chalk. Come on, I'm gonna nail it first try. First try, I'm gonna find the chalk. Oh, I'm a little bit low on chalk, okay. I will get some more chalk. These, nope, nope, put these away. Come on, I can do this. I'm a professional, <laughs> professional. I'm not a professional. I'm some, I'm some donkus is what I am. Okay, I'm gonna get these in here. Now, since these are one-to-one, -one, they will output here, and they will not be any excess. If there's excess, it will spit it out the sides, and then you can use hoppers and stuff to catch it. If, and when you hear the word hopper, don't think Minecraft hopper. They don't work like Minecraft hoppers. But you can set up a, um, a vintage story hopper to catch the excess. But since this only uh, goes one-to-one, -one, we don't have to worry about that. If you're grinding salt, for example, you get two salt for every halite stone you grind up, so you wind up with excess. Uh, I'm gonna let that run for a while. I'm gonna get some plaster. Now, in the meantime, this is a very sad, sad windmill, right? You can upgrade this, I believe, twice with more sails. But for that, I need more linen. For that, I need more flax. Let's go take a look at our flax. I think some of it is actually ready to harvest. <gasps> I think it's all ready to harvest. Oh no, not all of it. There's a little bit that's not. I've got a mix of soils in here. I need to take a trip at some point and just go out looking for more terra preta. Because right now I've got a little bit of terra preta in each field, and then the rest of it is... Uh, Medium fertility soil. Now oh, this one's actually all terra preta already. Look at all these animals in here. There's so many. There's too many. I need to go, I, I can go get rid of the other hair traps for sure. Because we got enough in here. We got, <laughs> we got so many raccoons as well. They're not good for eating, but they'll provide occasionally a little bit of fat and a little bit of uh, leather. Leather is another thing I need to get working on so I can upgrade my inventory again. And I have everything I need for leather, actually. We just need to get the lime, which again, why well, we need the windmill. So, I'm gonna let that do its thing. I'm gonna harvest the fields and, uh, and get some more linen and all that sort of stuff. And then I'm gonna get working on building an actual mill that looks at least reasonably nice.
Well, friends, I think we've done it. I, uh, I designed a nice tower for the windmill uh, in a creative mode, and I figured out what materials I was going to need. And then I did it. We built it. It's, uh, it's done. It's taller than it was before. We got a heck of a view from up here. Uh, there isn't an easy way up and down just yet. And there also isn't an easy way in and out just yet, because the bottom of the tower which you saw down there is not actually going to be the entrance. The entrance is going to be in the side of the hill, kind of like in my... My little hobbit hovel over there. Uh, but I haven't got that far yet, and honestly, my friends, we're out of time. We're out of time, I'm out of time, there's no more, there's no more time left. Uh, I'm out of time to make this video, and we're out of time in this video. So, uh, in the next episode, we'll be fixing up the bottom, and making a proper entrance to the mill, and moving probably most of our food operations inside there. In the meantime, I gotta, uh, I gotta get rid of all the, all the scaffolding and all that. Let's just, real quick, I'm gonna clean that all up and let's get a view of it from the bottom. There she blows, my friends. There she is. There's our windmill tower. We still need to upgrade the uh, the blades at least one more time, but I like this. I think this came out pretty good. I think it looks nice. I think it's a cool design. Uh, for the time being, and the way we have to get in is, is through here. Took the window out and we can uh, uh, kind of get stuck on the ladder. But, uh... Oh, it's done, it's done grinding, it's done grinding up my chalk. So, uh, eventually the entrance is going to be down below, and this, uh, this, this corn will also be down below, and this will all just be sort of decorative. I will have a ladder going up to, to, you know, for maintenance and whatnot, but the entrance is going to be down here. I'm going to shear off the front of this, and we're going to make a nice entrance to this next time. By the way, last note, as you may notice, we got a baby! A little baby sheep. We got a little baby sheep, we got a lamb. Finally born, unfortunately only one. So we are gonna have to get this this uh, this initial U pregnant again once she's ready. She's got a few days left, and we got some little baby chickadees, some little some little chickens. Here we go over here. We got a couple little chicks, and same deal. We're gonna wait for the the hen to be ready to mate again, and then we will put some more food in there. We're gonna get some more babies. Doing great. I also harvested uh, the skeps. They are populated again. Get those harvested again, and that's why I got this beautiful lantern I'm holding right here. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this thing. I did make them a little bit chocos, not because copper is rare or anything, just because I like the color. I like that black color. I think it's really lovely. And I do believe... Oh, look at this. We got soaked hides ready. I got leather to work with. I'm going to do all that off camera. It's a lot of grindy stuff. We are super out of time, my friends. But there has been, there's been a lot that's gotten done in this episode. 
I'm really happy with my tower. I hope we get some wind back. When I first moved here, it was wind, 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 all the time, nothing but wind. And now, we got like, eh, this doesn't feel like blowing. Wind doesn't feel like blowing anymore, folks. I don't know what to do. Hopefully it'll pick back up pretty soon. Maybe it's seasonal. Uh, but I need to, I need to eat some food, because I am almost starving to death. So let me have this very boring stew. Um, and that's gonna be it for this episode, but I am gonna see you in the next one. And remember, if you wanna play Vintage Story with me on my multiplayer server, all you gotta do is check out that Patreon, patreon.com slash secretfoxfire. It's only a dollar! You get several game servers and behind the scenes stuff and all kinds of things for just a dollar. It really means a lot to me, so if you can afford it, make sure you go take a look at that. That's all we have time for. That's, that's more than we have time for. I gotta go. I'll see you next time. Bye!